today I'm going to show you how to load historical weather data into any application that can consume the results of an OData query. OData friendly applications include many business intelligence and analytics tools. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, you can sign up for a free trial by clicking on the orange button on the right hand side of the page. Your free trial account will give you instant access to decades of historical weather data for any location. I'll select the option to manually enter the location for which I want to analyze historical weather data. However, I could instead select the import option to load in a sheet of addresses or paste in a list of locations as plain text. Then, instead of manually typing an address, I'll let the system automatically enter my current location by clicking on the Your Location link below the entry field. I'll also enter a friendly name so that I can easily identify the location in my result data. Next, I'll tell Visual Crossing Weather that I want to analyze weather history data by choosing the Historical Data option. Selecting an Historical Data query will open up the Options panel that allows me to define the parameters of the query. The main option that I need to set is the date range, so for this demonstration I'll choose the month of January 2020. When I run the weather query, I'll be shown the weather calendar view, which is good for an overview. I can also switch to the grid view to see detail level data. I could now click on the Query API button near the top of the page in order to generate an OData query URL. However, before I do that, I'll add a second location to show that working with multiple locations is as easy as working with one. As my second location, I'll add Paris, France, and then I'll rerun the weather query. In the overview calendar, as well as the grid view, you can see that the January weather for both locations is now my result. Now that I have the data for both locations, I will select that Query API button at the top to enter the Query Viewer. By default, the system will generate a CSV URL. However, I can change that to an OData URL simply by clicking on the OData Radio button below the Query text box. With a click, I can copy this OData query and paste it into any OData Savvy application. As an example, I'll show you how to use this OData URL to load the weather query results into Excel. While the interface and options are a bit different for every OData consumer application, the general steps shown here in Excel will apply to most applications. To load the data, I'll switch to the Data tab and select the OData Feed option under the Get Data menu. Next, I'll paste in the OData Query URL that I copied from Visual Crossing Weather. Excel will now fetch the metadata for the query and show me what result tables are available. For the weather results, I'll choose the WX request table. Excel will show a preview of the result data, and when I hit the load button, Excel will fetch the full data set from the OData query. As you can see, the weather results for both locations during the month of January have been loaded for analysis. You should be able to easily replicate this process for any data analysis tool in which you want to use historical weather data. If you would like to learn more about using other Visual Crossing Weather options, such as weather forecasts, historical weather summaries, and using weather data within other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.